Hello and welcome to day 20 of the July Painting Challenge. Now today's been a bit different in as much that I haven't really painted on the challenge. What I have been doing is I've been on my British Legion all day and we've done something uh, together which will come out probably um, when? Maybe tomorrow, maybe Saturday, I don't know. Depends when I get it edited. But um, anyway, so I haven't done any painting on the challenge today but I've done quite a bit of painting towards the challenge towards something else so uh, more about that in that particular video anyway today's question is uh, skill building week three well uh, it says here this kabubu chap does not want us to get any better scaring back to the inky blackness of space by sharing more of your skills with your comrades well um, I haven't really got any skills or stuff to talk about this week so what I'm going to talk about is uh, this notion of people not being able to paint um, anybody can paint. I got a video uh, that will put somewhere about this very subject, which will expand on it all, paint through and all that sort of stuff. So you can have a look at that. Um, but my view is that everybody can paint, and I think if you can paint, uh, if if you paint your stuff, you get a lot more enjoyment out of it than if you buy stuff. And you don't have to make painting complicated. I think a lot of people make painting very very complicated. And um, I've learned over the last 40 years, or 40 years plus, that you know you don't have to. I mean, I used to paint quite detailed stuff. I mean, I worked at Games Workshop for a while painting stuff. So, um, do you know what I mean? It's not. I mean, not 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 in heavy metal or anything like that, but in the store, doing all painting stuff. You know, like showing people how to paint things, and and it was there you sort of broke it down really, really simply into very, very small stages that looked pretty good. But even that, I find now is a bit over the top. Um, I just paint stuff very, very simply and use, you know, overall washes and stuff to do the tonal things. But um, for my style of painting now, it's perfectly, I'm perfectly happy with it. It means I can get a lot more done in a lot short time. And I don't know why people feel as though they can't paint, but do you know what I mean? I think people compare themselves too much to the glossy magazine illustrations and I know uh, people in the professional painting industry who <laughs> paint the miniatures for these glossy magazines and um, for every one picture of a miniature you see in these magazines there may have been 20 or 30 painted do you see what I mean it, it's not it's not like they don't Every miniature they paint doesn't end up in the magazine, do you know what I mean? They they select ones and put them in, and then there's lots of uh, photo editing techniques go on to make them look even better. Because at the end of the day, it's a bit like the food industry. I mean, you see all these packets of foods, all these recipe books, whatever, and the pictures of the meals that are in there, and they look absolutely amazing. The problem is, when you stick it in the microwave, it doesn't quite come out looking the same, does it? And it... But it tastes it tastes okay. It's the same with painting. Do you know what I mean? Um, you might have a figure, and you'll see a picture of it in a magazine. And you think, oh god, yeah, and you try and achieve that, and you won't because you're not a professional painter. But do it to the best of your ability, and it'll look good, and you'll enjoy doing it. And do you know what I mean? Do it simply. Do it. Do it to look acceptable to you, and you'll enjoy it a lot more. Anyway, uh, I just want to show you something and I'll just illustrate what I'm talking about in a little video clip I've done. Just to give you an example of what I'm talking about, this is something that you know um, I painted a while ago. Uh, quite a detailed little model. Uh, it's not painted brilliantly, but it's painted well enough. But what I'm saying is, like, it took me a bit of time to do this. Uh, there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of techniques in here. A lot of weathering techniques. Um, and stuff like that which are quite not complicated but you know you, you, they're a bit hit and miss at times but that's sort of like a detailed sort of thing and uh, from three feet away it looks okay uh, you can't see most of the details from three feet away but there you go that's that that's that and these some of you may recognize them these are simply block painted miniatures with only oh, paint a wash over them and they took a fraction of the time it took to do the dreadnought there and from three feet away they look brilliant so do you know what I mean uh, you don't have to get wrapped up 
in the um, detail all the time. Um, I suppose if you're doing like Warhammer 40k or whatever it's called these days, um, you know, the detail matters because you don't have that many miniatures to paint. When you're doing stuff like this, the detail doesn't particularly matter uh, as much because, you know, there's 32 of them in a unit and you've probably got 300 miniatures on the table. So, do you know what I mean? Um, don't get wrapped up in the detail you know, for painting war games figures. Uh, it's very simple to do, just block paint, a few colours, a bit of a wash, a bit of a highlight, and they're done. Right, back to me. So there you go. Uh, on the one hand, something that took a while. On the other hand, something that didn't take a while. And they still look okay. Do you know what I mean? And from three and a half foot away, you're not going to notice. So, anyway, wrap that up. Like I say, I put a link, I put a link into the video. Can't paint, so I won't paint. Go and have a look at that. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you paint science fiction, whether you're painting fantasy, whether you're painting historic. The technique is the same. It doesn't really matter what genre you're doing. It's just the fact that it's the same technique. Anyway, uh, I'll leave you now and uh, see you in the next one. <laughs>